<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this newest edition of the Dagenham team versus Oxford United. So the reason why I'm giggling is because my coach just said something to us as we were running onto the field uh, to try to motivate us and we were, were all very giggly and we all have no idea what to make of his little pep talk. This is what he said. He said, now, now boys, I only have three rules I live by. Rule number one. Sorry, we're, all right, I can't remember the, God dang it, what did he say? It was, uh, oh yeah, okay, so it was rule number one. Never get less than 12 hours of sleep. Rule number two. Never play cards with a lady. No, what? Ah, oh, it was never play cards. Um. Ah, oh, I can't remember what it is. I hate myself. Well, we'll we'll come back to that. It was hilarious. He gave me three rules, and they were very very strange. Um. So in this game, in this video, I am going to talk about myself because I am a narcissistic, egocentric person like that. Um. Those are big words, aren't they? I know. I'm proud of myself too. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I am going to talk a lot about my player um, because you guys know how I got a contract here, but you don't really know that much else about me. Um, I mentioned in my, I think my very first video that I'm an English teacher and that I went to university to become an English teacher um, because, you know, you got to... Oh! Oh, go! Oh! Go back cartwheel of champions. Who was that? Was that Mr. Hines? Oh, that was. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, go, 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 go. Just score to go. Just score to go. Just score to go. Oh, go, go, go. Do, 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 do. Oh, go, go, go. Sorry, I like that song. That might become his official, um, his official song. So that way, whenever he scores a goal, I need a, a like a chant for me. Um, because I will hopefully be scoring a lot of goals, so I need, I need a, I need a, I need a song. Um, anyway, that was, sorry, that got interrupted. That interrupted me talking about me. Um, so, I went to school to become an English teacher, um, and I don't really know why. Um, I, my mother is an English teacher, so I know, like, how it all works. I know the system and all that. Um, and I'm not a big fan of English. Um, I'm actually kind of bad at it. That's why. I, that's a, probably the biggest reason as to why I don't like it. Um, I love creative writing. Um, that is that is my passion. I if I could, I would write stories all day. But you know, unless you are like John Green or Dan Brown or some or Neil Gaiman, um, where they can just have a sitting contract with a publicist, meaning a sitting contract that means that. Um, they get paid, they have like a stipend, um, they have a stipend amount, and they get paid regardless, like they don't get paid for the final product of a book, they get paid for the, like the actual writing of it and stuff like that, um, so because what most happens, so if I ever write a book, and if I ever want to make money, uh-oh, uh-oh, and if I ever want to make money off that book, I will have to spend many, probably many years trying to sell it to a publicist, um, and then eventually I will get royalties from the book. Um, but what a, what a sitting contract is, is um, where, let's say, like you go with a publicist and you've written two books in your life, and they published both of them, and they do very, very well, and they trust you to write more books that are going to do equally as well, so they give you a little living stipend to basically just sit at home and be and be a professional author um and that is something that i strive for but i will probably never get um which is you know kind of a bummer but it's okay i'll live um you know because if i was that then i if i had a living stipend to write then i could play fifa full time um i, I could completely do that full time I could be a professional YouTuber, regardless of if I have anyone actually watch my videos. Which, actually, my first video has more than uh, 200 views, which is impressive because it's been out for less than a week, and it already has that many views. And it's my first video, and it's my first video that has had that many views ever in the history of my channel. 
So, you know, that just is, that that's a huge compliment as to my viewers and how awesome you guys are. But it's also... Oh, I didn't get there in time. It's also uh, kind of a testament to how bad my channel is and how not popular I am on YouTube. But that's okay. Well, we can get into that another time. So I wanted to talk about why I became an English teacher and all that. Oh, horrible. Horrible strike. It wasn't even on target. That's a bummer. Um, so I, when I was a senior in high school, my parents were all were pressuring me to, you know, apply for colleges because you won't get into all the ones you want to get into. Um, and so I took that kind of seriously. I was like, oh, bummer. I better uh, apply to a lot of colleges. Um, so I applied to one college very, very early. Um, as in like almost a full year before I would attend there. Um, and I got in. Um, which is not very... Uh-oh. Oh, I'm such a buffoon. Had an easy cross, and I just ran the ball out of bounds. Halftime. We're up 1-0, of course, because we're awesome. Um, Mr. Oh, go, 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 with the score, and then the just getting mullered by the... By the ref... By, not the referee. By the goalkeeper. That looked painful. I hope you are okay. Oh, go, go, go. Um, who is this? Is this Dennis? Nope, that's Howell. Okay, Shields is coming out. Interesting fact about Shields that I learned. He is a smoker. Um, yeah, a professional athlete who is also a full-time smoker. Um, I did not know that until... Because, like, I'd, I'd seen him smoking uh, at bars and stuff when we go out. Um, but, you know, that's just that's just kind of normal. It's kind of what you do. But, uh, no, he's he's an actual just... He, he, smoke, he smokes after practice. That might be a foul. Yep. He smoked after practice. He always has one last cigarette before practice. It's very interesting that a professional athlete is also... Uh-oh. Uh, oh. Oh, that was good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Whew. Um. So, yeah, it's very interesting that he's a professional smoker. Well, not a professional smoker, but that he's a full-time smoker. Um. I don't know how exactly how many he smokes in a day. Um. I highly doubt he's a pack-a-day smoker because that is a lot of smoking. Um, and you basically have to have a cigarette in your hand at all times if you want to be a full-time, uh, a pack-a-day smoker. And I just don't think he is. So, let's see if we can set up a wonderful little header for me, which I don't. Oh, nice steal. Um, so yeah, so I applied to one university, Hamlin University, actually, in Minnesota, and I got in. Which is very surprising to me. I didn't think I didn't. I had a lower ACT average score than they wanted. I also didn't have that high of a GPA. I mean, I think my high school GPA GPA was like three point six five or something like that. Um, so you know, decent, but not like the best. Um, I definitely couldn't wouldn't have gotten into like Harvard or anything like that with my credentials. Um, I think the main thing that got me in was the essay that I wrote to get in. Um, I. I wrote how life is basically like a soccer match, um, and it was a really cool idea. Hold on, let me cross back. Let me do that. Oh, he's dispossessed in the box. That's a bummer. Um, but the essay I, I wrote, it was about how life is like, I treat life like a tennis match. There's points back and forth. You win some points, you lose some points. Sometimes you got to charge to the net to make, to ensure you get the point. Um, just really cool, really cool, uh, like, symbolism and metaphors and stuff like that um and i think that's what actually got me in because but yeah so then a football coach contacted me a little bit before the summer of that i would go the summer of my senior year of high school and he was like hey uh we noticed that you are, are accepted and plan on attending hamlin would you like to play football and i was like oh my lord uh yeah sure i never thought of myself as a college athlete much less a college football player so sure why not um so what uh, oh that could have been glorious um so i went to hamlin played football my freshman year and i realized that i hated the sport of football this is american football clearly i do not hate european football otherwise i would not be making a youtube series about it um so i played football for a year didn't really like it um was going to be a communications and theater double major and then I realized that I would like to actually have money in my life to live. Um, and neither of those two things really open up doors to have like a steady paycheck. Um, what a beautiful path. 
Nope. What? Nah. Would have been cool, but it just like so much in this life, it all that effort turned to nothing. Um. So yeah. So I applied the got into Hamlin, played football for a year, didn't like it. So then I was like, oh, that was a horrible attempt, horrible volley attempt. So I decided to my sophomore year to play basketball for Hamlin. Um. So I went through the whole. I was a walk on, went through the whole tryout period, and I actually made the team. Um, but then by the time conference play got around, I didn't make the final cut. Because in non-conference play, you can have 15 players. And in conference play, you can only have 12 on the roster. Um, and I think I was, the, I was the 13th person on the team. So I was good, but just not quite good enough to play Division III soccer, uh, basketball. Which is kind of not saying much about how good I am at basketball. Um, so that was a horrible kick on that guy's part. I do not know what he was trying to do, but that kind of made me giggle a little bit. Oh, Dennis is coming out. No, wait, Heinz is coming out. Dennis is going on. Good. I like Dennis. He's a, he's a great chap, that man. Um. So, yeah. So, I don't know why I'm becoming a, a te an English teacher. Um, I'm not very good at English. I love creative writing. That's my thing. That was a full-on body tackle. Yep, offside, Shinley. You were offside, so what you got? Um. So, so yeah. Um, oh yeah, English uh, teacher stuff. Oh, I got subbed out of the game. It's okay. We had a, we had a solid game. Um, so, the reason why I want to become a teacher is really complex because this is what, this is what I learned. Um, a lot, though this is like a f famous saying or expression in the education world, that people that want to become, that People that love their subject teach high school. Um, so, for example, if you really love English or something, you teach English at the high school level. Um, or at the college level if you go get your master's and all that. Um, and then people that love to teach, as in just love children, teach at the elementary level. Um, oh, look at me. I, I've only been in England for about a month, and I'm already starting to say elementary and stuff like that. But, so the rest of the story, we'll have to can wait until next time, because we won! 1-0 up against Oxford United. We are still at the top of the league. We now have 12 points. Um, thank you to a beautiful early set goal by... Oh, go, 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 go. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a glorious day. Look at that goal. Oh, thanks for watching. Best wishes.